Welcome, we are um, still talking about factoring expressions eh? and this is the last one in a sequence or of a sequence because we started by taking out common factors, we started then we continue by can we factorize by grouping, is it normal factoring or what I call extra normal factoring and now the difference of two squares. And sorry, together at the end of this video we will factorize the expression x squared minus 25. Now, if I give you an example for this one, the difference of two squares, for instance, x squared minus uh, 49, yeah? Now, if you are, if you have seen my previous videos, the first question you ask, is this, or is there a common factor? Well, there is not. Is this grouping? No, of course not, because it doesn't have four terms. Is this normal factoring? No, because it doesn't have three terms. Extra normal? No, because it only has two terms. So actually, the only one left is the difference of two squares. Now, what does difference mean? Difference is subtraction, isn't it? Yeah. So indeed, there is a minus sign there. Difference, okay? Of two squares, x squared, that's a square. What about 49, is that a square? Yes, it is. What is 49? That is seven squared. And then to factorize it, and that's why this is a beautiful one. I told you in my previous video, this, this, this is fantastic. It is x plus seven, x minus seven the difference of two squares that's the only thing you have to do finish i factorized it down completely so let me give you a few more examples um y squared minus 121 and if you get experience with this yeah with factoring you'll see this instantly because of course this is not there's no common factor of course it's not grouping it's not the normal factoring no this is the difference of two squares. So I can put yy there, plus and minus 121, 11 squared. Yes, of course. Plus 11 minus 11. Okay, that's it. That's it, guys. And then, uh, well, let me give you one normal example. a squared minus, uh, what shall we do, 16. Well, do I really still have to ask all those questions? a a plus 4 minus 4, the difference of two squares. That's how you factorize it. And then, Perhaps your teacher, and I'm one of those teachers, want to uh, really make a question appear very difficult. Yeah? So I can do like this, um, x squared over uh, 25 minus a squared uh, c squared over 144. And I'll ask my students, factorize this. Yeah? And everybody will be like, yeah, that's easy, because there's no common factor. This is not grouping, this is not normal factoring. There's a difference. And we see all these squares here, don't we? Okay, so what am I gonna put here? Let me just put a plus, let me put a minus. Okay, I'm gonna take basically the root of everything. So x squared becomes x over five, ac over 12, x over five minus ac over 12, that's all. That is all the difference of two squares, fantastic. So, this final question, x squared minus 25, hopefully you see that the format is very different compared to the rest. So it is, well, where will that fit? No, well, we're almost finished there, well, we are finished, so it doesn't really matter. x plus five, x minus five, fantastic. I'll do one more video with some more example questions of this one. But we finished factoring now, eh? and if you started from the beginning, so I have made a playlist, and if you are finishing now, and you have seen all the different types of factoring, and if you ask yourself all those questions every time, you are going to be a superstar, okay? So if you're not confident in factoring, start at the beginning, look at the entire playlist, it's gonna take you 30 minutes, yeah? And that is nothing, because, uh, you will be saving a lot of time while you are answering these questions here. Yeah? And you will notice this is actually a lot of fun as well. Explainingmaths.com, that's my website. You can ask me your questions and uh, you can find more free resources. Yeah? You can also find me on Facebook or on Twitter. Okay, one more video with some example questions of that one. I'll see you later.